everybody, welcome back to American Life Farming. Did just doing a little tutorial video I'm on top of the actual the cattle barn here, <laughs> the calf one. But what I'm doing is, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm trying to. I've been wanting to do the calf or the yeah dairy farm with the calves and all here. So went ahead. What I did is I, I forgot I have the subsidiary, so trying to keep it as real as possible, but went ahead and uh, sold off that first plot that we have up here, and then uh, also sold off all the equipment, so I don't have anything, everything's leased right now, so I'm trying to just kind of show a tutorial, because I took, had one heck of a time trying to find everything last night, trying to go where, <laughs> you know, just, most of it's pretty simple, but especially like the straw and stuff, and just took time to do it and figured it out but so went ahead and got this farm I'm gonna do a, a play through on here too I really want to do you know, harvesting and all that stuff also like silo here if you walk up to it it'll give you the option to turn it off both there's another side of the head but just it gives you the trigger it shows where it's at and this also lifts up so you can put stuff in it So let me go ahead and get a quick point of how to do these cattle. So first off, you know, here's the cattle farm. You got the whole amazing buildings. This thing is just ridiculous. That's awesome. I've been running around looking through it and trying to, like I said, trying to find triggers and all that. The uh, feed looks like it's right about where the grate's at. There's no marks on here. On I don't know. Let me take a look. I don't think it's a... Because everywhere else there are, so it's kind of odd help icons. Yeah, they're on, but... Hmm. But either way, so you're coming through here. So the feed is right out here, uh, about where the grate's at in here. Once you pull up there, it'll give you the option to dump it. Put it in there, it just actually lines up along the sides here. It's pretty interesting. And then as they, get the, they do their dirty deeds... <laughs> Uh, there'll just be some signs that pops out so you can see it actually kind of pops out. And when you do the shovel to clean it up, it doesn't actually uh, pull a TMR or, or whatever your food is. It just pulls out the dirty parts, which is cool. Your straw trigger, which took me forever when I was drying hay bales and pushed them all around this field. You have to have a blower, blah, 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 whatever. But <laughs> I just I don't care to use those things, but I got cool ones. Pretty sure. I'll show you that too, but. But as I pulled up in here, stayed off to one of the sides here, whoop, gave me the option to trigger it out, and it's spitting out. And then it, so the bedding goes in here. Nothing goes on the other side, which is pretty interesting. I guess this is more the sleep side. This is the production side, which makes sense. So there's that actual milk things on this side anyway, so that makes sense. Then when you come out back here, water triggers here. Water fill there, so. so let me go ahead and so you can see a little bit of straw right here too. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these lights on actually in the buildings. So I can show you what I talk about. It's a mark for the light. <laughs> it's just a beautiful, just awesome barn. These don't have collisions on these rails, which is cool. This does, but. These don't. Oh, I'm not sure. Yep, it does. Okay, cool. Same with this side. Um, oh, oh. See, yeah, there's not as many over here. Hmm. The rails don't have it. Turn this light on over here, too. Booyah. Ah. <laughs> just beautiful. I like how the lights are kind of tucked away. Oh, they glow. They don't, like, just burn your eyes out on so cool. <clears throat> Pardon me. On this farm, too, there's also a fuel station here. It says fuel. Got your silos. Uh, bunker silos. Two, uh, four of them, actually. Here, let me take a look. Yeah, so fill chaff there. Uno, dos. <laughs> and this has got the cool little little animations, things that come out, it's pretty cool. And most of the farms have these little rubble stuff in places, which is cool, because, you know, 
being on a farm before, when I was a kid, you know, they had stuff like that. There was just stuff that was just, you know, they go out and, or heck, there was farmhouses that we'd go out to when we were a kid and we'd find all this stuff in them because, and the building was like falling apart, dilapidated, just, just old, 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 old school. But, uh, that was a neat, neat thing. Seen some of those dealios there. I right, turn it back off. Water trigger here. It shows it on the map too. Ooh, go back to where it was at. So water fill triggers there. Got your silo, farm silo there, and a farm silo there. There's your fuel station. You got your moos and your baby moos. <laughs> so I wanted to do the calves. So that's the reason why I was doing this too. But so then you got these. I thought these were. Fill stage, but they're not. They're big equipment, obviously. Two more uh, bunker silos here so you can get more silage out. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what I'm going to do is you can get your cows here. You can open the gates as long as you own. Now, this property, you can open these side gates. You can't open one has the animal trigger, and you won't be able to open animal trigger animal trigger either. So it's a pretty neat feature. So Lancy Boy has a video. He went through the whole walk of it. It's pretty cool scene. He didn't go through all the details of where the triggers are at. Unfortunately, I tried looking at, but he definitely went through all the new things and these new buildings. And man, he said he took like 12 hours or or more on the, at least about a dozen hours on this cow barn itself. You know this. Which is just definitely gorgeous. It's so amazing. Look at the details. And these grates, so cool how it's kind of helps keep the bugs out. Well, the sides at least, but gives it an aerated so you don't just smell poo all the time. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and get some cattle here. So I like the black and white just because that reminds me of cows. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit 10 of them. And now they're in there. See them walking around back there. There's a car there, but there's also a cow there. <laughs> there's another one side there, just rolling around. Hey, Bessie. What are you doing there, Bessie? <laughs> so I got these. I went ahead and got two of these. I filled them up. There's only 16,000 liters, I think. Yeah, 16,000. So I'd normally like to use... This TMR side, I suspect, because I mean, that right there is 40,000 liters. <laughs> so you put um, two straw bales, three hay bales, and five silage bales, boom. It goes up real quick. Or it, if you want to do the bale part, I have to do the bales so it's simpler to measure it out. But um, So yeah, you could also do the animal one with the, pick it up off the ground or whatever, but do that and park it next to this guy. When you park them next to each other, you got 500,000 liters you can store. And this guy, there's a, uh, put it out of the way here. If you guys haven't seen it or done anything with it before, there's actually a ramp that goes up. So there's two switches on that right side over there, two boxes on the ramp area there. You turn one on, it turns the side of the on, basically to suck the product up I guess and uh, the other one opens the lid the lid lifts up just like we do with the grate for the silo I usually just turn them both on and leave it there then you plug the this guy in right next to there's a uh, see that pipe sticking out there where that little square is at right in front of me here whoops right in front of us there on the grass I can't rob a seat over here but well maybe not yeah, see that right there. As long as you have that pipe butted up against that silo properly, boom, it, it'll push it into there. It's pretty cool. In the other spot, you have to get on it, hit the button. You can change it from the pipe on the end there or change it over to the silo, which you could just 500,000 liters of TMR is not a bad idea. That's just my prefer preference. Wow. So these guys obviously don't even have the pipe there, but... <laughs> Let me take a look and make sure I got the uh, proper tip-wise. Okay, cool. 
So let me put, show you when I come up here. As we're roaming up along this area, it should come up right about now. There you go. So it's not actually fully in there right up against the wall even, but hit that button and boom. <laughs> Cows take a lot, that's why. Oh, I only got nine of them? What? Because we're at ten. Let's try that again. Yay, there's ten. And this is why I tried doing the couple of these so I have enough to cycle through. Send that back to the house. <laughs> Hold on. The uh, shop, actually, because I'm just leasing it, so. There's that. <laughs> Yay. And this one is left, so let's change to the right. And again, right there, boom. More going in, going in, going in. Cool. Filled them up pretty well. So I'm just going to get this equipment out of here as I can't. Oh, hey, that's not what I want to throw out. So we got that, go get some water. Good. <laughs> of course. Again, my dog's totally fine until all of a sudden I start talking. She hears me a little bit. She's like, oh, I'm gonna go make some noise now. They all stink her. She's a good girl. So you can go and you these, they all go through, but Sometimes you go to that main gate over there, but I just, since this is open, I just leave one open. And it's got the kind of guard that's more protected. <laughs> so come through here. Don't run over any of the cows, hopefully. Oh. Water's going up. Guy. Guys can't have babies or have other cows or produce milk, hopefully. <laughs> so, since that's like that, I'm gonna go ahead and not run over the cow. Even though it's, it's no collision on but still, It's funny because there's no collision on vehicles, but you run into them, all you smack right into those puppies. Pow! <laughs> so, you can see the TMR on the sides there. Pretty interesting. And then we'll go ahead and grab this feller here. Sorry for my spinning around a little bit, but this thing is really cool. I'll show you. I can fit eight bales in this bad boy. It's right there. See? Mm. I see the straw filling up over there. Cool, got it. I was trying to get the straw before it hit 8.45, because every 15 minutes it updates things on there, so. And the manure, so you can see manure slurry. No milk as of yet, but. Got straw going there, pretty cool. And I was playing around with it last night. I went I fast forward to kind of get some time to go, and it's pretty cool, because at nighttime, the cow, at least there saw one of them was laying in the hay over there. It's like, oh, that's pretty wild. That's so cool. So I won't need much more of this here. Cool. We'll go ahead and pull this guy out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoop. Oh, I 
I've actually caught that barely. I'm not Mater, I'm world's great best backwards driver. <laughs> So what I did, I got this little tiny, it's a little mod too for the milk. Since calves take milk, let's make it more, oh, let me go ahead and, as you can see the TMR here, also the food in general, since I use TMR, lines up, excuse me, along the sides there. And then as they, I haven't seen you pull up on this side, I haven't done it too long either, but there'll be some silage, you know, some of their, crud pulls up in here. So that's where that goes. I was trying to figure out where in the world the manure comes through, but it actually pops up right over here. Don't have enough, I guess, to show it. But my manure will be in here, so you have to clean that out a little differently. And then the slurry... If you might have watched other videos or anything else or anything, it's over on this side here. So it's a slurry pit, like a hole in the ground. And whoo, well, that's sticky. <laughs> so slurry pit's here. Nothing there as of now, but see, it'll start off like this. And then as it produces, it'll start filling this up and then just be like a little fishing hole. <laughs> yeah, no. I see some more just rubble here. It's kind of wild. I don't know if you can get rid of any of it. It'll be kind of cool, but I think it's deep. And then, of course, this fence. There's things, if you can see, it's not fully. <laughs> it's kind of, it's really cool. The detail that this guy put in this is just, jeez. Uh, Lancy boys. Oh, a lot of these guys are, and you can see some tire marks and tread marks from, I haven't driven through here. This is from what well, he modeled as it. You know, jeez, it's just amazing. And Riverside Farm from Missy Bees had an update today as well. I played on a little bit on that as well. That's a great map too. So many maps, so little time, man. <laughs> it's like this one actually is pulled out a little bit. But the cows don't seem to jump out of here. That'd be kind of cool if you could hit it, fix it, repair it. <laughs> anyway. So then over here, of course, is the cabbies. I'll go ahead and open both these doors up so we can... Just drive through as need be. Just love the smoothness of those doors. It makes it makes me happy. I don't know why. I just don't like banging, clanging noises. Hey, that's why I don't like my neighbor too much. Just banging, slamming, throwing dishes around. <laughs> I, no, I don't like. I'm just joking. It's just it gets really annoying when you people don't pay attention to. Hey, I'm an apartment. Let me not be a jerk. <laughs> anyway, here's my rant for the day. <laughs> Um, also, to good note on this is if you do use this farm, this is not level over. See, there's dip right here, which is cool. I threw out, threw me off. I'm driving around like, whoa, what in the world is it for? <laughs> yeah, it's my verbiage, I guess. But as you can see, there's a little bit uneven terrain. And that's that's cool because I don't know of any farms that are fully level. <laughs> oh, cow right there. Awesome. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward just a bit here so we can get a little more, get some milk out of here at least, and get some calves and show you how that works out. here to uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Moose yelling away there. So as you can see here, see there's a little bit of muck there that they spread out somehow. <laughs> so that's the cleanliness. So we have to clean that all up. Got a little bit of milk from them too. And as you can see, there's the manure there. It just lines up all nice and neat. <laughs> So glad we don't have to do like they really do. That'd be a whole other story. But, but uh, it's 
327 milk, so not too shabby. Um, let me show you what I'm using for equipment real quick. So I'm leased all this stuff. Um, I just grabbed a tractor, New Holland. I was going to use the stuff we had, but it's better to sell it. So, uh, uh, so just grab the tractor to help out with uh, all the stuff over here at the store. Got the lift on it and everything, so there's that. Actually, it doesn't have to do with that specifically. I like this truck here, so that's another side of that. So eight two studios. You don't need to use. But this is the one I was the big, big comfort. Um, as you can see, in the middle, there, right below the mod, there it shows eight. So you can put eight bales or four on each side. Folds up, folds down. It's pretty amazing. Oops. And of course, just a regular guy there. There's this, this little milk container. I mean, you can get a big tanker, and you know, it's best. To, and I'll, once I do my gameplay, I'm sure I'm going to get the big tanker. That way I can use the, some of the milk for the calves, and then the rest I could sell off and actually... It would be really cool if they had a storage for milk, but anyway. Of course, the basic stuff there, so that's not much of anything else, but... So that totals 2,000 liters, which is pretty cool. And then uh, I can just use that to port back and forth over to the calves and feed those fools. <laughs> and then... Yeah, that was that was that. So we've got some calves. Fire those up, but then we'll go to morning and see how that works out. Calves take straw as well, so same thing, black and white one. Ten bad boys there, little fellas, look at those guys, they're so cute. You coming after me? You want some of this? And these, yep, they got collisions on them too, so. Alright, so, as you can see, there's... Show some milk in there, but... Alright, let's go ahead and get them some milk. See the calves, they need uh, milk and straw. So let's get them those things. Ah, I already have the straw thing on me. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm still attached to that, aren't I? Nope, not about it. It's right there. Now they produce manure to wait. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. I'm not sure where it goes. Oh, actually, let me... I was just doing something last night. I'm not sure. Get the milk over there before it hits 15. So every 15 minutes, you notice it updates it, but... See, it's the little guy. When I was driving along, when I was bringing it from the shop, oh my goodness, that thing was whooping around a corner. It was just went flopping around, went upside down, flipping around. I'm like, well, that's entertaining. But of course, real life would not have been at all. <laughs> it would have been a disaster. So let's see, once you run into this area, boom, and milk pops up and spits the milk out. Ooh, didn't get much today. Okay. Now, the other part of that is... Oops, see, this thing's spinning around. Hey, yeah, see these little divots here? She's bold. Oh, even land. They might... part of this is, let me see something real quick. So the straw was just popping up for the calves. I didn't put any in there actually yesterday. I was like, oh, that's interesting. So, I'm not sure if you actually have to use this or not. Let me try it. Oh, it does not do anything. Interesting. I guess straw just spontaneously shows up. <laughs> I'm not complaining, believe me, yeah, that's, that's, that's way better than working with it. Yep, see, straw pallets, thousand boom. Or maybe just because I drove through there. I don't know, that's a good question, I've never... Tr anyway, 
More to come on that, that's for sure. Alright. Let's do a quick... Fast forward. Oh, of course. And there we go. More, 15. Wow. So, one liter of milk a minute, seems like. <laughs> Ninety two percent. Show some to them in there. I wonder if they just pre put in the same thing there. So, yeah, let me go ahead and fast forward a little longer here. And I'll be right back. So, I just put ahead and skip through to the morning to get an idea. So, it's beautiful morning times. <laughs> Go ahead and see what. Oh, let me go ahead and turn on the lights in here. Make it a little easier to see here. I turned the lights off when they were sleeping. So we got manure here, obviously, which is nice straight line. Pretty stinky, but it's okay. <laughs> Then we come over here, and you can see the silage in the The food's on the right and left hand side there, but the uh, mess comes through here. So, see, I can. Let's get down here. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and. This tractor is so awesome. And the pedals, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's cool. Anyway. These mods, these manufacturers, all these people just make such great stuff. It's awesome. Most of them do. I'm afraid. <laughs> nah, they all. This, this. I can only imagine how much time and effort it takes to do these. If you like doing what you're doing, then that's awesome. That's why I like doing these videos because I, I love playing the game. Like, well, crap. I see a lot of people doing a lot of gameplay and videos. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I like watching theirs. I'm gonna go ahead and record my own. I'm playing it anyway. <laughs> So if you like it, please say hello, subscribe, like the video, and I'll be your friend. <laughs> anyway, so that dropped on to 84. Why? Wow, but I, I give them some more milk before I put my head down too. So they got manure over there. Let's see what they got. I'm gonna get some more milk for them. Uh, almost 500 milk. So obviously, the more cows you have, the more milk and course. That's why I always pick, try and keep one of the same style, because if you have more, it's not going to get the production rate the same. And this light automatically comes on, because I couldn't find a light switch in there, so that's good. Throw some more milk on there. And these guys, apparently, the straw just spontaneously shows up. <laughs> Slurry. Oh, I got some slurry going on there. I wonder. I wonder where their manure goes. I wonder if it goes to the same spot over in the calf barn or the cattle barn. I have to clean that up and check it out too. Slurry pit. Let's see what that looks like. If it's getting any worse or different. A little bit of filling up there, so. Cool, 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 cool. So definitely enjoying this map, and this has been so much fun. This is so many maps, a little time, because Riverside Farm's great, too. It's definitely smaller, I got the hedges, different type of fields, but it's just such great you can tell has put into it. both these all these maps actually all this stuff but um eastern is another map that just came out recently and that's that's a whole other that's a load that I'm not I don't know if I want to mess with there's a lot of stuff that goes on that one so let me see if let's see if I can just get this out of here
curious to know what this one does too. Okay, so just put the poo over somewhere else, see what happens. <laughs> Dump the poo in here, huh? Mm, that sounds great. <laughs> sounds juicy. Let's see. I'm changing the manure yet, so let's see. I usually get the milling machine, I think, the trailer of the milling, but oh, it's so, stick it, it sucks it right up, it's amazing, but that's not bad, I can get this, alright, cool, cool, we got all of it, at least that I can see. So, let's see how that changes everything. Very interesting. So obviously you pull it out there, that's good for the cow. So it's a big cow. The big boys, girls, whatever you want to call them. The adults, there we go, let's put it that way. So I'll have to search for the calf one and let you all know when I figure that out too. Thing around here. Oh, that's lighting. Interesting. Um, never mind. Found it. <laughs> How the heck am I supposed to get that out of there, though? Alright, so that's another story in itself, is getting that poo out of there. Can I grab it? Anyway, um, actually, now that I think about it, <laughs> go figure. Farm Sim 22 bucket. <laughs> yeah, there's a milling machine at the top. That's pretty awesome. Hmm, let me see if that actually works. I'm curious now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do this. Since I have to come all the way over here to get the bucket, you know, that's the other part of that. Sorry, somebody's trying to call me. Air warranty is extended warranty. Yeah, you know what? My warranty's way past extended. Vehicle 2000. I don't have anything for you. Wait, I did not look at that, did I? Yep, newer's on there. Cool. Let's just back to the house. Back to the home set. Whoa, hey, that's not. That is not strapping in there, is it? Alright, so... <laughs> let's try this here.
this should be able to fit on there, no problem. Okay. There we go. So even if it slides around, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> Alright, let's get this back to the farm and go from there real quick. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. I'm definitely open to check it out. I do have to work, unfortunately, so I do got to do that stuff. But I have my phone on me or, ooh, spotted some birdies there. But, uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, like, subscribe, say hello. Let me know what you want to see, if you want to hear anything, or if you have any more questions or ideas. I'm not... I'm still pretty new at this game. I've only been playing for several few months. Five, four months maybe now. But I sit here and I learn a lot and I take care of change and I, I watch a lot of videos. So I'm, <laughs> it's intriguing to me and I want to know more. So just let me know what you guys think. Ah, I wonder if I can put the poop in the trap. That's awesome. All right, so let's find this out. This is the moment of truth. So that's cool. <laughs> Let me see what. Check the menu here. Well, that didn't work out. So let's see if I. Whoops. Dang it. Let's see what happens if I do this then. Take this outside and just dump it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's fantastic, I think. <laughs> That's amazing. So cool. Get any on you. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Right, so <laughs> anybody, you guys have any questions or anything else? Yeah. Oh, chuck that. Oh, I didn't go very far. <laughs> any questions, any ideas, any thoughts? Please let me know. Appreciate it. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to y'all later.